Some people are having a few issues with the Mini 3 returning to home accurately. And Mark R. White wrote and said that his Mini 3 was landing 810 metres away. He actually means 8 to 10 feet away from the home point, which is not quite as bad as 810 feet. So I thought I'd come out today and test just how accurate the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 are at returning to home. Now you can see the monument up in the hillside behind me. I'm going to fly both the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 up there and once they're up at their monument and had a wee look around up there I'm then going to hit the return to home in both drones and fly them back and see if they will land accurately back on the launch points which are these two marks right here. So let's get both drones into the air. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And up to 100 metres. So both drones are at 100 metres. Let's head them towards the monument. And as I fly up the hill, I will be increasing the height above the ground as we get closer and closer to the monument. So let's just raise the height of each drone so that we're level with the, the monument. That looks good there, so let's push on. There's a little bit of a wind up there, so I'm having to pull them slightly to the right. So this point may be a good idea to take them up just a little bit higher 
to make sure we don't crash into the ground. With a new Brotect screen protector, the, the RC that comes with the Mini 3 is much, much easier to see, much clearer than the iPhone 12 Pro Max is. So Mini 3, almost at the monument now. So let's just... Let's just hold her there and, and wait for Lassie to catch up. So let's just have a little check to see if there's nothing to the side. And let's just do a little parallax around the monument with Lassie. And the screen is pretty dim here, although I can still see fairly clearly, the screen is pretty dim. So there's a good view of the monument. And now we'll do the same with Caledonia. Move her in a little bit. And then a nice parallax. The controls in the Mini 3 are very much smoother. The settings I have are identical in both drones, but the movement is much smoother with the Mini 3 and it's easier to control. So there we go. Nice parallax. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit return to home on both drones. Go home. And let's just watch them both coming back. And of course, as they come back, I am going to have to reduce their altitude. Go home. To keep them up within 120 metres of the, of the ground.
and as both drones return to the ground <clears throat> let's see just how close they get to their home points and how accurate the landing is First to come down is the Mini 3. And as you can see, not spot on accuracy. A few feet away. And the Mini 2 comes down. And the same, not completely accurate. Quite a, quite a few more feet away this time. Although she is correcting herself at the last minute. But not, not all that accurate. And still quite a distance away. I would estimate maybe five or six feet away. So they are not accurate to the closest feet. I would say the Mini 3 was maybe two feet away and the Mini 2 was approximately five feet away. But that's good enough for me. I don't generally land, in fact I never, unless it's a test like this, I never let them land on a return to home. I, I land them in my hand and I usually fly them back manually. So. There you go, Mark. I hope that helps you out.